just want to say thank you again, man. This, this, it's this no was Chris, on. If episode. you asked me, let me tell you this. If you asked me to do this for you for nothing, I would have been grateful to do it for you for nothing, bro. Because I know you're a good person, man, and what you do is straight from the heart, man. It's not about the money. It's not about anything. It's about the friendship and the loyalty that you have for, for the homeless people out here. And I know you don't look down on us, and I, and I know because you act, you told me to come on get in your car. And if I smelt like an, a boar ox, it wouldn't have made you no difference, and that's how good your heart is. That, it's a lot of people's names that I don't remember. But Chris, I remember Chris's name. I remember Honeycomb Pie. Yeah. I remember all of that about Chris, you know, because you're a good guy. You're a good guy, and, and, and if God has something for you, I know he's going to get it. He's going to give it to you, Chris. He's going to give it to you because you're a good guy, man. You're hey. a good guy. And, hey. and whatever you does comes straight from the heart. Straight from the heart. You don't, you don't run across too many people. A lot of people have, have motives for the things that they do. You know, it's about money, money, money to them. But it's not about money to you. It's about trying to help the next homeless person, trying to help somebody. And that's what you're doing right now. And I know out of this right here, it's something good gonna come out of for you and it's gonna come out for me. Amen. It's gonna come out for me, you know. My dad, my dad lived right around this corner right here. And that's where he died at. Wow. 519 Adam Street. That's where my father died at. And I took care of my father. And I told you how my father was toward my mother and everything. Yeah. But God has a plan for everybody. And I took care of my father until the day he died. I was at work the day that he died. And then my boss came out on the road. I was working for um, APAC, which they do asphalt. I was working for APAC. And the girl, the, 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 uh, the girl, her name was, she was the dispatcher. And she came out on the job. And when she came, I had went to work one day for half a day because I wanted to see, um, what's the name of them people that, that uh, come to take care of you when you're in your last stages? Hospice. Hospice care. Hospice care had just begun because I had been trying for months to get hospice care to come in. Yeah. And because I had, I asked my my boss. I said, could I? I got to take take some days off to take care of my to take care of my dad because he's dying. He had he's in stage four lung cancer, and I have to take some time off to take care of my dad because we don't have anybody to come in and take care of him. So those last days, uh, the first day. I said, I'm gonna go to work for a half a day and I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna check on them. I'm gonna check on them to see if they doing what they supposed to do. Now, when I got back in that half a day, I said, dad, are you all right? They, they taking care of you? He said, yeah, Junior, but my dad was still calm. He said, yeah, Junior, she just gave me a sponge bath. I said, you nasty goat, you. I said, here you is dying and you talking about a sponge bath. She gave you a sponge bath. And so I had found out that they was doing what they were supposed to do. So the next day, I said, well, I'll work the whole day and, and, and I'll see how things go yeah. while they're taking, you know, as how it progresses. So that next day, she came out on the, on the, on the uh, road and she was calling me to the car and was just calling me to, to the car. Tears was all, already running down my face because I knew what she was coming to tell me. She was coming to tell me.